Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Kotlin video. So today I want to talk with you guys about DSLs and uh, with Kotlin we can do amazing DSLs. And uh, remember DSLs can be external or internal, um, meaning externally it could be to do some sort of configuration or even to have a more like a domain um, uh, you know, uh, config uh, and internally um, it also can be used to make uh, developers life easier and more, um, you know, um, the, the intention uh, gets more clear. So um, there is this um, website called 12 Days of Kotlin. It's a very good website. I recommend you take a look there. Uh, they have very good articles. And um, I was inspired uh, on the this DSL um, uh, posts uh, they have here. So they have this one about uh, uh, Gradle uh, DSL. And um, they have another one um, about... Um, uh, DSLs as well, right? This this one of the, the toolbox. And this one, uh, there's a specific code, how to assemble a sandwich. And I wrote that code down, the code here on the post. So I recommend you take a look um, on the post. Um, it's it's uh, very good. Uh, but here I have the code up and running. Uh, and I'm going to try also to explain it. Uh, but I recommend you take a look here. This is uh, pre pretty cool. So um, let's go to my idea here. And um, what we have here uh, is, is the DSL. So let's say you want to assemble a sandwich. Um, what, what is cool here, right? You can see it's almost like a, a, a BDD, a behavior driven development spec, right? So you have a, a sandwich and then with the type toasted, you know, the bread is spaghetti and the filling is cheese, and they don't want to add filling uh, ham and tomato. If the fillings, uh, if there's more than three fillings, add lettuce for, for free. Um, the dressings, I want to add uh, extra salt and extra pepper. And ciders, I want to side like a French fries and chicken nuggets, and then let's build that. So I can see that the syntax is pretty cool. Um, and when I run it here, you can see this actually uh, works all right so yes you see here the recipe all right and uh, this is like a very powerful and, and kotlin is really good for dsls so let's take a closer look here so we have the sandwich all right which is a function that the function has served uh, receives um a sandwich dsl right um uh, and it returns a sandwich dsl right and then calls apply with that sandwich uh, dsl so we have a class, which is the sandwich DSL, right? We have a type uh, that by default is simple. We have a var that's bread, by default is white. We have fillings, we have dressing, sides. Um, and with means this, right? And that's a cool trick. Um, so it's uh, making an alias for this, right? So it, it more fluid, a very interesting trick. And also cool here that you don't need to type dot, right? You can use spaces. Uh, then uh, we have this invoke, right, uh, for uh, the apply. And, um, you know, we have like uh, this inflix functions. There's for type, for bread, for filling, for fillings, for dressing, side orders, and construct. And these are all functions here, like here, 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 and here. All right. So like any other DSL, you receive a parameter, you do something and you return this, right? So this is not different. The only difference here is have this word inflicts on the front of the function, right? Um, so this is similar like any other language, but like cool things here, like um, this part, for instance, on the dressing, you can see that's plus salt, right? And that's playing with some uh, string capabilities, right? Uh, and uh, overriding of the operators. So if we go back to the dressing, right? It receives a dressing 
um, and then it, it it has a to add and then return uh, this. And then if we take a look at dressing, it's another class. And the dressing has a list of dressings, right? And then it has this operator that unary plus, which is, is the plus that you are seeing um, on the DSL, right? Uh, here and here. And then uh, let's go back there. Yes, here. It basically what happens when you call that plus, right, on the dressing class, it actually going to get this mutable list of dressing and just going to add it the string that you're going to pass, right? And that's cool because uh, you don't need to do something like uh, dressings dot add um, salt, right? No, you just do plus salt, right? It's much more expressive. It's pretty cool. Um, and here we have like a, a recipe that, you know, just print stuff and, and a set, right, to, to, to add the, the dressings. And then you have the, the class for the filings. So in filings, uh, if you go back to the DSL, um, you, you see here that uh, we add some filings, right? Some like ham and tomato, and there's a if even, right? So if you go back to the filing, uh, we're gonna see here that uh, there's another class, right? So every main uh, concern or kind of a sub entity of the DSL, there's a class as you can realize, right? Like um, uh, the DSL itself, side orders, dressing, feelings, right? And in feelings, there's a, a mutable list of feelings. There's the unary plus as well, right? But we are not doing this way. Um, what we are doing um, is, is, is basically uh, the set uh, part, right? And then uh, we receive a list of feelings and then uh, we clear whatever was there and we add them all, right? So, so that's what you see. And um, what else we have here that's interesting? Um, yeah, so, so this one is cool uh, because it's with it's, it's this feeling cheese, right? So what happens is like, remember, is the inflix function, right? So we have like the add like the salt, right? So here the, the add is inside inside of instead of being outside, right? So then you just say feeling the name of the feeling and then it adds, right? Um, I personally think would be more interesting just say plus ham, right? Like, uh, like, like here on the dressing. But uh, it's just showing like a different option, right? A different flavor, a different way to do it, right? So we receive a string. We're going to call the unary operator there, right? If I click, you go right here. And then at the end of the day, it's just adding to the list of strings. That's what's happening here, right? But um, this is abstracted by this feeling function. And then what's been calling is this feeling function here and this replaces, right? Side orders um, is pretty much uh, similar deal. We're going to see different class. Uh, you also see a list. Uh, you see functions, right? So you have set if you want to set them all or you can add the side, right? It is more like a traditional way of a DSL. It's not like really much idiomatic uh, to Kotlin, right? So that's like the last coolest of the three that we saw here. Compare it, feelings, dressings, and side orders, right? So you see side order then it types the word side and then it's there right for, for me like the dressing part is the is the one right um or even you know um the one that's more uh interesting or cool uh, but here's similar deal right you have a list there's the unary operator uh there's a recipe receipt all they have receipt parts right because why when we construct um we, we build all this object right and then uh, you can see that in the end of the, when you have a sandwich, there's the receipt being called, right? So all the receipt parts from each one of these classes, right? Receive from the, the fillings, the dressing, and the sides being called and, and assembled in a big receipt, right? So that's why you see like uh, each one of those is part for a, an item, right? So it, it, it's well structured, it's easy to read, and uh, really good to test and to understand this code. So that's it. I just want to show this uh, DSL for you guys. I really recommend you take a look on that website I showed. They have a cool, cool stuff about uh, Kotlin. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.